Um, your career spans a great deal of time. Like, what would you say is like an essential thing that's held true throughout your period of playing and managing? Well, I mean, uh, the transformation of guys that get on base and guys in front of run producers. And, um, you know, Earnshaw Cup wrote percentage baseball when I was a player in Baltimore. He said, if you hit your highest on base percentage guy first and descend on down, that's the best line of beat possible to get. But he didn't put in there, you know, the, the extra base power. And I said, that, that's, that's just part of the game. But they're going to that more and they use other stats too. Sometimes I think nowadays they put too much in there. You're an early adapter on this yeah. stuff. And I, there's some really great stuff in the book where you, as a player in your early 20s, go in to see Earl Weaver with a lineup you've made up and been like, hey, maybe you want to try this out. Yeah, right. Which, I, how badly did you get cursed out? Uh, real bad. Where were you hitting in that lineup, out of curiosity? Second. All right, hit interesting. Second. He threw it in the garbage can. I know he got him out later, but he threw him away. But I tried to tell him, you know, uh, there's a thing called uh, uh, percentage, uh, you know, how to uh, use percentages, mm -hmm. you know, to your advantage. And you need plus or minus 500, uh, 500 chances to be within plus or minus 5% to predict. It's a thing. statistically significant. Yeah, right. right, and he didn't know that. He would use four. You talked in the book, there's some really interesting stuff in there about the Earnshaw Cookbook, which was, it seems, way ahead of its time in some ways, but then in other ways because of the fact that this is a mathematician or statistician and not a baseball player, not a manager, that there's a lot of stuff in there that you thought was way kind of beyond the pales. So when you're trying to integrate this stuff, because like ball players are, are people too, right. how do you get them to, not just to buy in, but to understand your decision making process? They just need to know you're right. All right. And, and you know, uh, and over, as long as you make a whole lot of right decisions on talent, uh, they know whether you should hit them or not. You think that some of this stuff has gone too far. When you say too far, like what would you, not yelling at you to call anybody out? Okay. When, when I was doing programs, you know, uh, my program said, well, should we separate the uh, night games from day games? Uh, should we separate the travel from the home mm -hmm. games? I said, no. If you start doing that, now you're going to uh, have a whole new set of statistics that, that can change just through happenstance.